Good morning. It is freezing in Utah. The whole car is covered in ice. I feel bad leaving this car outside last night, but... Oh boy, I can't see anything. Well today, go ride. Scoot, scooters. Cause that's what we do. Okay, hold on. Neutral. Oh, let's see. Oh, it didn't want to. It didn't really want to. Oh, I feel bad. You can see my breath. This is how cold it is in Utah in the mornings. This sucks. Okay, and watch this. If I try to use the wish wipers, it's gonna try and kill the car. Oh. <laughs> oh no, it took my spanner off. No. Right, I can see enough. We're gonna call that good so I stop annoying neighbors because this thing is stupid loud. You hear the turbo whistle from inside the car. while it's absolutely freezing. We have picked up the wing and hood scoop for Granda from paint. Just got painted, guys. It looks so good. We got these little, for right there, we got these little caps that go over it. But I think we're going to mount this wing on there today. First things first, though, I'm leaving my brother's house. I was helping him build some shelves. So let's get going home. Oh, there we go. Let's take a look at this thing in the sun. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. She's going on the Forester, so let's get that done. So we are waiting to put the hood scoop on. We're waiting until the swap's done to put the hood scoop on. Reason being, um, I don't exactly know where the STI engine's gonna sit in the engine bay. I have a pretty good idea, but because we're using a top mount intercooler that I have over there, I'm gonna wait until the engine's in the car so I know where to cut. That way the forward to back where it is is feeds right to the intercooler like I want it to. So we're gonna wait to put the hood scoop on until after the swap's done, which the swap should be done in about a month. I should have my motor back in about a week to two weeks. And then by the end of February, the car should be running again. I'll have everything done. All right, let's grab the keys. S14's parked in here. Got the wing ready. Pull her into the garage. We're gonna take the basket off and put the wing on. I'm now just realizing that I have left that Christmas tree up there since before Christmas. Man, I haven't driven this thing in like three, four days. Starts right up, still good and strong. All right, in the garage we are. And the wing mounts like the hatchback STI wings just right here off the back of the trunk and it looks 
so sick. So I think the way that we're actually going to mount it is we have two holes here that go on top of the trunk. So we'll probably drill two holes through there into the trunk. I'm not sure if we're going to through bolt it with like a nut and bolt or if I'm going to do like a, a thick screw with a lock washer. Um, I think I'll probably end up doing a thick screw with the lock washer because that's a little easier to do because we're also going to do 3M tape down the sides right here, which will end up sitting right here on it. So I think those two bolts through the top right here and then 3M tape on the sides, I think that'll be more than enough to hold that thing. So that's how it's going to sit on there. Drill out these holes a little bit bigger so that way we can mark through them where to drill on the trunk. And then we also have a third brake light that we got to put it in wire, which we'll probably have to take out the third brake light that's in the trunk behind the glass and wire that to this. So, but yeah, I mean, it's going to look so cool. Drill's dead, so I'm letting the drill charge. We have the third brake light that came with the wing. And it has a plug on it. You obviously have power and ground. So I'm looking at the brake stock brake light that's behind the glass we have a green and a black green i'm guessing is power because we have a black wire and that's normally always ground if you have a black wire green can vary but i wonder if there's because this has a plug on it and that wing's specifically made for sf forester so i'm curious if somewhere along this that there's a a plug that we're missing well maybe i'll take all this plastic off and see if i can find it I think these come out first. I would be correct. There we go. Oop. Like that. Oh, it's got two screws back there. So we've got to take these lights out, take the two screws out. Maybe we can find the brake light plug if there is one. Found a plug, however, they're both female and they're definitely not the same. I don't think they're the same. What I ended up doing is I drilled holes right here underneath the wing where the me wing touches the car. And we ran wires through up to here. So we'll just cut the wires and wire them into the third brake light that they gave us right here. Um, I'll probably just put some heat shrink to know which one's positive, which one's negative because the only wire I had was black. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna also drill at the same spot right here on the trunk where the wing mounts. That way these wires can go into the trunk and then we come out under the trunk to the lights in the trunk. And then I'll probably put like, I'll probably drill two holes in some 3M tape or something, put 3M tape over this, touch the car so that way it's sealed and no water can get in. I'll probably set up a time-lapse and we'll get this wing on the car and wired in. we're pretty much done we just finished up the wiring this is the only thing you can see with the wiring it's just that little thing right there the wing is on fully we got screw there with the washer screw here with the washer thing is on there and the whole thing with the 3m tape to protect the wires that go from the wing into the car look how beautiful that worked Look how beautiful that worked. That is completely sealed. So there is no way any water can get inside the car from there. And the wires come out from behind this right here, like 
that was the way to do it. It was worth it to take the extra time to do that. Now what we gotta do is you gotta get three screws into this light. The light's like in there good, but you know, just precautionary. I think I'm gonna use, there was three gold screws that were holding this in. That's the stock lights right here. So I think these are these tiny little gold screws. I think I'm gonna use these for the three little screws on the light right here. That worked beautifully. Mounted super good. Now all we gotta do left is we're gonna take the basket off because the basket and the wing don't look good together. And then we gotta figure out a way to put these caps on because there's like no clips or anything. So I think I'm either gonna hot glue, maybe 3M tape. Let me grab the caps and see. That's how the cap's gonna sit. Should never have to take the wing off really, but I don't want it to be a permanent thing in there. I fear if we do 3M tape that it'll raise it because 3M tape's, you know, like a 16 inch thick. Hot glue it. Hot glue is amazing, guys. I think I'm just gonna hot glue it in there. Just received a massive package. Whoa! Good thing those aren't fragile. From Canada slash Japan. So that's gonna be in the next later episode. I'm not sure when I'm gonna throw those on, but these are authentic JDM stuff for the Forester. And there you go. Took the basket off. We're leaving the crossbars on for now. Maybe. I'm not sure if I like the crossbars on or not, but man, does that wing look good. We got these hot glued on. Those things are on there, not going anywhere. There's only one issue with the wing. Because it's fiberglass, it doesn't sit flush. I thought it would sit flush, but when I was just putting it on with my hands, I just, I guess, you know, you can't get it to sit right. You never know until it's actually on. Right here. See, so we have a gap right there. You can see the screw, got a gap right there over here no gap fits perfect so and i even took it back off and tried to put it back on and the same thing so that's the way it's got to go unless you knew that you're not going to tell like it looks perfectly level it's a success can't wait to show you guys what, that's what's in that box that showed up we got a lot more coming for the forester everyone stay tuned Wait for more videos, try my best to get videos out as fast as I can. Everyone have a wonderful day, peace.